in the 1932-33 series, the body line campaign presented by the English attack under the command of Douglas Jardine, uh, presented to the cricket world the greatest crisis ever that it experienced. Four years since we were in Australia. It's very nice to be here again and pleasant to find that in spite of the depression, the big cities haven't changed very much. We haven't played a test match yet in a month's time. Like everyone else, I should be able to tell you a little more about our chances in the test. English team has a severe setback in their dress rehearsal for the first test against an Australian 11. The great Herbert Sutcliffe top scores in their first innings. That's two from Nash. And a fine drive for four of Oxen. Finally, he's out for 87, caught by Bradman off the bowling of Ironman. England is all out for 282 in their first innings. Australia replies with 218, and then England collapses sensational. Freddie Brown, the baby of the team, is bowled by Oxen. The six foot, six and a half inch Nagel bowls to Duckworth, and traps him LBW. Nagel with eight for 32 is Australia's hero, and England is all out for only 60. England's fast bowlers, spearheaded by Harold Larwood, bowling at terrifying speed, strike back. Bradman, who made only 36 in the first innings, cuts Larwood. That takes him to 13. Leg theory has been a well-recognised bowling policy for years. 